My concept of manhood had been ass backwards longer than I could remember. Much like the young men that I mentored today growing up, I didn't have a father. So I stumbled into manhood through these generic rap videos that taught me to view women as sexual objects, and it took me losing my tia Lorenita, nurturing her motherless children, my own cancer diagnosis. And a whole lot of fucking tears to understand what a man actually is, I remember. Sitting back home with my tia Lorenita's children, Tatis and Tavito. These two are like my heart and soul. They listened intently as I argued with my girlfriend on the phone. I eventually hung up and said, well, time to call the next woman. Tavito giggled. My baby girl Tatis looked sad. I froze. I had just taught them both that a woman should expect to be nothing more than the subject of a man's infidelity, a notch on his belt, or a safety adornment on a wall in case of fire. Break open glass in that moment, that's all a woman was, property. So many of us men do this and there is no excuse. Many factors lead men to abuse the women we claim to love, yet how many of you men ever bother to keep these men in check? I ask, because I've been verbally abusive. And I can tell you it's a daily battle to overcome, like an addict trying to recover from an addiction knowing it's wrong anger is the drug that afflicts me. Similar to a cancerous tumor left untreated, it can fester inside until it destroys you and your family. But thankfully, I now have good men at my side. Men who actually cook and clean and cry, who keep me in check, tell me to fall back if the tone in my voice gets aggressive. All this because I'm man enough to ask them for help. I'm man enough to admit my mistakes. I'm man enough to cry. I remember. During the viewing for my tia Lorenita, her father, Don Oscar, came out to the car where her grieving husband and I sat quietly to tell him, Don't cry, Gustavo. No matter what, we are men, and men don't cry. An hour later, he stumbled out onto the road drunk and passed out. I told Gustavo, look, that's what a man is in this country. During my tia Lorenita's funeral service, I had the deepest human connection I have ever felt. Held her son Tavito in my arms, and as he started to cry, I could no longer keep my eyes dry. And in that moment that we grieve together, we heal together. Weave together a bond that'll never be broken, yet so many men are raised with these preconceived notions and never bother to change. Don Oscar, bless his soul, died one year after passing out drunk on that road. He never cried. But he did try to change. A near-death experience will do that to you. I mean, everything society had mistaught me about being a man damn nearly killed me when I got the cancer diagnosis. I carried around the tumor for four months before I even asked for a surgery. But thankfully, the cancer was removed before the illness worsened. Had a good woman at my side. She accepted me as her husband. The tumor was removed. The anger still lingers. I don't want a recurrence from either one, so I have to work at being a good man every single day. Try to keep the anger at bay and become a good father to these young men that I mentor today. Yeah.